yo guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how you can set up your shardium node and by doing that you're probably gonna get some airdrop in the future because not a lot of people know about this yet and this kind of complicated to do but if you follow this video everything is going to be set up correctly so quickly about shardium this is the first evm based l1 blockchain which uses dynamic state sharding to increase dps with every new node basically they have over 18 millions in funding and there will be five percent airdrop to the community to the node validators no doubt further ado let's dive in so looking at the shardium docs we have everything written in here so we can follow the guide and it's very easy to understand what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the wallet section we're gonna go to metamask and we're gonna add the shardium network so if you click on this link shardium details you want to add the sphinx 1.x so if you click to connect to sphinx now you'll need to click on the approve button and your network will be added to your metamask step number two is we need to request some tokens we have zero right now so um, you'll need to copy your wallet address and go to the official shardium discord verify your account and scroll down and you need to find the sphinx faucet 1.3 and basically you just um, use one simple command which is pause it uh, enter and then paste your address so once you do that um your tokens will arrive in about 20 minutes so it's not gonna take long but in meanwhile we need to buy a hosting service and this hosting you can pay on the monthly basis or three months six months or one year and basically the servers that i can recommend is germany moldova uh, sweden i don't know much about the other ones but i try italy and it didn't work out because i've got the error messages couldn't download any software on it so i'll basically stick to this that i tested like germany moldova and sweden um you can let me know in the comment down below if you tested some different ones maybe um you will get a better result than i did but if you're getting some errors when you're trying to connect to different uh, locations you will basically need to contact the support for them to resolve the problem or maybe they will change the location for you so now once you create your account you will need to go to this link build.pq.hosting and in here you will basically need to switch to virtual private servers then you click on order and now we will need to select the data center so for example we can select moldova and in here basically you will need to select the monthly period so i'm gonna select month and now you'll need to select the eight gigabytes of ram that's the minimum that you have to use it costs 14 uh, euro per month so you click on order and basically you will need to select the operating system so scroll down below and find out the ubuntu 22.04 once you do that you don't uh, change anything in here you basically click to cart and uh, once you do that uh, you can use any promo code if you have it then you will need to click on the pay and now you pay with your uh, cryptocurrencies so i definitely recommend you guys to use cryptocurrencies i'm gonna use my account balance because i already top up my account with crypto so you can do that as well i'm gonna use the first option because i have some balances in here i click on pay and now you can basically see my servers so this server is pending it's gonna take about a few minutes to set up i'm gonna get back to you once this is done now you can see we have the server up and running so you can see the status is active you'll need to click on the three dots in here and then click on instructions the another website is going to pop up in order to connect to the server you'll need to download the software which is called puri.org uh, you go to this website and you click the first link and then you'll need to download the version that corresponds to your computer so it shouldn't be any problem the installation is very simple and you, once you're going to do that you're going to have a client like this and then you put your ip address in there but once you're gonna click on instructions you're gonna see the server informations and what we need we need to copy this ip address so go back to putty and then paste your ip address click open and you're gonna see this putty uh, login prompt it's gonna ask you for your login so the login username is root then you'll need to paste your password so copy your password and then just simply right click it to paste the password it's going to be blank you're not going to see it for the security purposes and then click enter the so first command that we're going to paste is basically um sudo up, update and upgrade and it might take a while to install all different packages and upgrade your system to the newest version but the entire process shouldn't take too long altogether if you don't have any errors should take about 15 to 20 minutes so once the system will install the necessary updates now you'll need to press enter and now the next command that we're gonna put is basically install the curl command this command will allow us to download the software by using the command line interface and now this is downloaded we'll need to update this system one more time uh, by pasting this command it's gonna take a second 
the next command that we're gonna uh, paste is basically install the docker.io and it might take um, a minute or two minutes depends on the connection as well once this is installed you just press enter one more time wait one second and now if you want to check whether everything was installed correctly press uh, paste this command press enter so now you can see we have docker installed now next command that we're gonna paste is basically this long command and it's gonna take a second to download it then we'll need to paste this shorter command which is gonna give us the executable permission to this path so we'll paste that in so that's done now you can check the version one more time for our docker and then you'll need to paste this command which is going to download the software the installer and also give the permissions the executable permissions to install it and then run the installer uh, with this shell command script so now you'll basically press y on the keyboard press y again to run the web based dashboard then you're gonna set up the password once you do that you basically press enter you leave it default um enter 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 one more time and now press enter last time and now it's going to take and um, again 10 minutes about 10 minutes it really depends on the system that we're operating and the network connection so now this is downloading if you guys have any errors running the node and installing you can let me know in the comment down below and definitely join my discord i'm gonna try to help you as many as i can so everyone can get the air job so definitely join there cool so now we have this installation finished what you want to do now you want to just change the directory into this folder and then run the script so we just type cd shardium and then you press enter now you can basically see that uh if we, if we type ls you're gonna see all different commands in here and all different um shell scripts that you can run so we're gonna run the shell script so dot slash shell dot sh press enter and now we are into this application so next you want to just say basically operator and then um, CLI, then GUI, start. Now, basically, we have our application up and running, so our node is started. But once you're gonna be in your browser, you wanna just say HTTPS, and then uh, double slash, and then put your IP address, and then uh, double colon 8080. It's gonna show you this connection is um, not secure, so you wanna click on advanced, then proceed. And then our dashboard is gonna pop up so in here you'll need to put your password that you previously created in our console click connect and that's all we have to do now we are in the shardium node in a dashboard you need to go to maintenance you press um start node basically next step you want to connect your wallet so now we have connected our wallet to the dashboard and if you remember previously we requested some tokens before from the discord server so I have 15 uh, tokens um, on this Shardium network. So you want to click add stake. So now you want to just basically put 10 because that's the requirement. So 10 uh, tokens you have to stake to be a validator. And then you press on stake. So your MetaMask is going to pop up right now and you have to confirm the transaction. So we click confirm. Sometimes you might get an error here, but um, you basically need to try it one more time until you're going to see your balance deducted from your MetaMask account. And if you guys have any problems with it, you can just join my Discord because I'm going to try to help you as many as I can. There's more people running nodes in the group, so definitely someone will help you with this. If you guys want to learn more about Airdrop, you can follow me on Twitter and definitely join my Discord. So there will be a link under the description in this video. So definitely click the first link uh, down below. Join there. Follow me on Twitter. And also like the video for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.